Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. So guys, now let's take a look again on the euro currency. Although yesterday was the weekend and Labor Day in the United States market was thin, but the price action was not as boring as it could be suggested because currently market gradually uh, shows the action that we have discussed in our weekly research. Particularly speaking, as you remember, we said that as market has not quite hit the 1618 extension target. It pro from this ABCD pattern, A, B, C tab, it probably will try to accomplish it before starting any retracement up. And currently you can see that market stats stands at the edge. Just a half an hour ago when I have just started prepare preparation of this research, market was even higher. So somewhere in this area and hasn't quite touched the 1618. Now you can see that market proceeding a bit lower and almost has reached or even has reached already the 1618 extension. Take a look that this is rather solid support cluster since this is confidence support of the daily time frame 131.86 uh, 68, 131.85 and that is an agreement so that is where it will be significant support area and I think that uh, market has chances to bounce to it from it as the respect of this support and by this action test this a combination of the weekly pivot point and the monthly pivot point. So 132.65, 132.80 area approximately. So that will be uh, about the 100 pips move. Not bad, not bad move. So and you could try, for instance, take the scalp long position with the uh, hope that market will test this area. On the lower time frames, so on the forward time frame, we see uh, these targets. Also, that is the 127 extension, slightly lower, stands right here. And we, we see the uh, clear bearish dynamic pressure because market uh, moving lower as trend shows the bullish uh, direction. That is the MACD predictor line. As price stands above it, it means that simple MACD indicator shows the bull, bull trend. But market, you can see, shows the downward action. That is an example of the bearish dynamic pressure. And <coughs> Although the minimum target has been accomplished of this setup, usually when the market start to form the bearish pressure, uh, it has the tendency to take it out of previous extreme. That has happened because the market already accelerates further, but uh, it doesn't mean necessarily that market should stop right here and turn to the upside. Market probably could continue even lower. Okay, so that now we stand around the area where the market could establish some minor bounds in terms of the retracement on the daily time frame. That really could happen. And here we should search possibilities to enter long uh, with the target around 132.65 area. It's right here. Around the weekly pivot point and monthly pivot point. Uh, 32.65, 32.80 area. Well, uh, finally on the hourly time frame we see the third part of our puzzle is the pattern that could give us the opportunity to enter long. That pattern is the butterfly. So you can see the butterfly buy. That, take a look how the targets of this butterfly coincides, coincide with the targets on the daily time frame. So the 127 extension of this minor smaller butterfly coincide with the 1618 target of the daily ABCD pattern while the 1618 extension coincides with the um, with the this butterfly with extension of this butterfly is right here. So uh, that's why we should keep a close eye on this patron and try to enter along uh, with this around 30 40 pips uh, stop from this area, from this uh, low. Also, you, you could, for instance, take the small long position in this area and add more right here uh, because with that, wherever we, will you enter from this level or from that level, your stop should be. Uh, anyway below this swing because that is the ultimate target of the butterfly and when you trade the butterfly you should place the stop uh, behind the ultimate point. 
So that is the short term setup. Uh, let's see what will happen. In fact, guys, uh, despite that yesterday's price action was not as impressive, uh, we will have the really tough week since we have the five meetings of different central banks on the current week. A lot of data. We will have uh, the non-farm payrolls release on Friday. So you understand that this could be really the doom and gloom here. Uh, I also can't exclude some clarification or some news coming from the geopolitical situation, particularly speaking about the Syria, although the Congress uh, discussion will start on the 9th of September, as you know. Well, anyway, um, some uh, unexpected moments, some turmoil could still come from the, uh, this object as well. But on the nearest hours, uh, today trading session, we will keep an eye on this butterfly that is now forming on the hourly time frame, since it could put the foundation for possible retracement for 100 pips to the upside, right to the weekly and monthly pivot points.